Hey, what's going on guys? Happy Friday. We're gonna take a look at my favorite Alliance Paradigm floor plan. This is the 372 RK. Uh, really awesome and it's loaded with so many features. But before we get started, I would like to disclose due to the manufacturer's request, we are not able to say the price. However, if you would like to know, feel free to leave a comment down below and we can private message you. Okay, so getting started with the specs, our weight comes out to be 13,372 pounds with a overall length of 40 feet 7 inches. So this thing is pretty massive. So starting here at the front on the outside, we have our Rotaflex pin box. And then just underneath is your uh, spot for your battery plus some additional storage too if you would like. Over here on our camping side, you have two propane tanks, one on this side, one on the other. And this is considered a 101 inch wide body pass through storage. So this thing is huge. You can actually place bikes in here if you would like, any extra camping gear, uh, beach towels, chairs, umbrellas, anything that you want, it probably could fit in here. Uh, you also have power on the outside so you can plug stuff in if you would like. Outside speakers so you can jam out. And then you have your solid steps at your main entrance, nice oversized grab handle. And since you have your campsite slide, you have two sets of awnings on this coach. So you pretty much have complete shade to relax underneath. More power here on the outside. And then on the back, since we have our rear ladder, that means we have a fully walkable roof to keep up on roof and slide out maintenance. And then on our non-camping side, you have two more slide outs. This also has electronic auto leveling. And then I wanted to show you your water hookup. So starting from the top, you have even more power here on the outside. Uh, a bunch of lights too, so that you can see what you're doing. If you happen to get to the campground while it's still dark outside, uh, you can flip these on and be able to have all of your stuff hooked up nicely. Satellite and cable, so you can have a TV out here if you would like. Exterior shower, and it does come with this nozzle, um, so you have access to hot and cold water. Maybe you need to rinse off your legs or your muddy shoes or even give your dog a bath. And then they have pictures for how you can change these uh, nozzles to be able to switch it to dry camping, city water connections, uh, winterizing, sanitizing, all of that fun stuff. And then of course, this is where you can open your black and gray tanks at. So now let's take a look at the inside. All right, so coming all the way to the front and working our way towards the back so we can kind of save the best for last. Um, all the way at the front, we have our master bedroom. You have your king size mattress that does have additional storage underneath. Um, and Alliance did a really awesome job with just having as much storage as possible. And I'll show you what that means here in a second. Uh, shelving slash end tables are on both sides that have USB ports and outlets built in the bases of them so you can charge your electronics and not have to stretch your cord super far. Um, and windows are everywhere so you have a lot of natural light just coming in all across. Uh, and you have some open shelving there on the left. You can put some knickknacks there, some decorations, or any other personal belongings. Barn-style sliding door for that extra privacy as well. And then you'll notice all throughout the camper, you have a dimmer switches, which is pretty cool. All the way at the front, more barn-style sliding doors, but it opens up to this gigantic, gorgeous wardrobe. You have the uh, black clothes rack that extends all the way across. And then you just have little cubby shelves built in pretty much everywhere, so you always have a spot for your belongings, even up here. So they really maximize all of the storage in this camper. And this is also a spot where you are prepped for uh, your washer and dryer, so you have your hookups and stuff for it. Nice little bench on either side of your dresser that does lift up for even more storage. But it's just a neat little spot so you can uh, sit down and put your shoes or even just relax, read a book, anything like that. Uh, eight sets of drawers so you have even more spots for your clothes and whatnot. And then even lifting up this, you can put your personal belongings in there, your wallet, keys, uh, jewelry, anything like that. And it's also soft clothes. And then just up above is a, a TV here in your bedroom. More closet storage space. You can also use this for your uh, bathroom storage too if you'd like. Or you can just use it for more clothes storage. Love the gold hardware all throughout. I think it's gorgeous. 
And then coming into our bathroom, you have your porcelain foot flush toilet that is also soft close. A humongous residential size shower with the uh, lift up seat so you can relax. So if you don't want it there, you can lift it up and have it uh, stored against the wall. But it's a great spot to relax. Um, love the wood color too. It really stands out in this bathroom. Clear sliding glass door for your shower as well. And you even have a shelf back there for your shower, or for your shampoo and uh, conditioner. A skylight is also up above. And then you got your vent fan. Epoxy poured uh, countertop for your sink, which is really nice. It's all smooth. Power there on the back. Por or not porcelain. A stainless steel kind of a swoop sink. And then love the black matte finish on your shower and your uh, sink nozzle. More storage down below. And again, another barn style sliding door for that extra privacy. Leaning down, you have the opposite side for your steps. And normally you'll have your steps leading up on your camping side. Here we have it coming up um, on our non-camping side. Immediately when you walk in through your front entrance, you have some additional storage, control panel, and even more storage up above. And then here is a, another glimpse of our steps leading up into our master bedroom. And then what I think is the best part of the camper, the main living portion, you have your living room and that gorgeous rear kitchen. Uh, these slide outs really open up the space because you have uh, two opposing sofas there and you just have a lot of room to entertain, have your kids running around, guests, or even your pets. On that little half wall leading up to your steps, we have our entertainment center. Huge swivel TV right there. And then you have access to those outside speakers just down below, plus an outlet if you need it. And there's even cool little shelving uh, for even more decorations too. Nice big electric fireplace down below that does pull out for some hidden storage underneath. But this actually kicks on some heat. So if you are into early or late season camping, you can really take advantage of that or just have those pretty lights going. And then our sofa here on the left actually folds out into a bed uh, for your kids or guests. Love that it is covered in windows too for some natural light coming in. And you have more storage compartments up above. And then across from there is another sleeping sofa. Uh, really comfortable, so you definitely can have four people comfortably sleeping in your main portion of your camper. And I would like to point out there is zero carpet all throughout this entire coach, so it is very pet friendly and easy to clean. And then we have our theater reclining seats and perfect view of our TV, so very comfortable as well. And then leading into our kitchen, we have our freestanding dinette. This does come with two extra chairs that are stowed away um, underneath our master bedroom mattress. And those, you know, have the foldable capabilities. These two do not, but you can kind of move them around which way that you want. Also love the organic accent kind of waves throughout the uh, wood tabletop. I think it looks great. Huge atrium windows as well. So you have even more natural light coming in. And then now talking about our gorgeous rear kitchen. Uh, so you have solid surface countertops that just looks great. Power outlets everywhere for uh, coffee makers, air fryers, anything like that. Uh, storage compartments are down below with the same gold hardware. And then you have your stainless steel four burners, which is something that's really different. Most of the time you'll see three burners. This one has four and it's also considered a residential oven. So you could fit a turkey in there. Have your Thanksgiving meal in your camper. And then you got your residential size microwave, more storage cabinets up above, a huge window behind your sink so uh, you can have a gorgeous view when you are washing dishes or just cleaning things up. Love it though. Most of the time you'll see a smaller window um, in your kitchen space here. It's just huge. Uh, cabinets on either side. Stainless steel open mount sink with this roll up cover. Uh, so this is great for some extra countertop space or you can place your dish dishes here to dry. Black matte faucet sink with this sprayer nozzle and even more storage cabinets kind of running along to the left. Residential size stainless steel refrigerator. And this thing is probably bigger than the one I have at my house, it's huge. Uh, but there you have it. Any sort of questions or concerns about this coach, feel free to let us know. And like I said, if you would like to know uh, the price for this unit, leave a comment and we will private message you. Thanks.